Well, the project's been kind of an evolving thing since first year. As much as you have new projects each time, as a practicing artist, you are looking at things that you're interested in and then evolving it at each, po at each point. So I've always been interested in natural forms and the everyday. So seeing those things in the everyday that you often walk past and don't really take time to look at and then bringing it to a point where you're examining it in more of a um, critical or just heightened way is what I find interesting. But also creating things that are from the natural world, but then not deceiving, but just tricking people slightly and making them look twice and think, oh, this isn't that material or this is actually made from something else. Well, this piece is called geotraversing. Now that's the act of coming together and a journey through something. So what I wanted people to do is actually move through the work the moment they enter the space. You're kind of lured into a form that is almost a tunnel. So you're constantly inside and out of these forms by the nature of them just being hollow frames. And again, by creating something that has this ode to a doorway or a human-sized form, it is that thing that, OK, I can walk through this. I don't just have to stand at the side and experience it in a frigid kind of way, which helps with this entire room, which has all been interactive work. So down here on the floor is the ceramic work that I've been making simultaneously alongside the wooden pieces. Um, all of this work's come through a long process of things going into the kiln, coming out of the kiln, and I've really been manufacturing, in a sense, a continuous body of work, whether it's through the frames, the reproduction of those, or the reproduction of each small form. There's been this continuous momentum going on of making these different pieces. Um, I've been playing with the idea of value with these. Uh, by glazing something, you're immediately putting a precious idea onto it. Suddenly, it's become something that isn't just a natural form, but something of value. And to then just pile them up on the floor in this, uh, what I'd call, playful way, is seeing whether people would come down and actually be lured in to check out what it's made up of. And it's got, I've noticed when people were looking around, they couldn't immediately tell what the material was. The glazes have that shine, that kind of manufactured shine, which uh, lures people in to check it out. But also some of them have more of a, a natural finish to them. But again, I'm still making things that are supposedly natural, but they're all man-made by me. So, and the fact that they're hollow as well, I'm playing with the idea of existence and non-existence. They're things that uh, suggest being something, but they're never actually quite that thing. So as much as they may look like rocks, or the, the vinyl on the floor may look like a C-type scene, they're all fake. It's, it's all the idea of something. And when you come into the space, you come in with an idea from either your own past or your own things of what you see, and hopefully that pulls those memories to the foreground and you, uh, you have an idea of something yourself, as well as what I'm trying to put across.